YouTube, what's going on, guys? Today, first video of MLB The Show 24. I'm gonna do my best to give you guys what I think the best thing to do first in Diamond Dynasty is if you are a new account, no money spent, just started, whatever. Uh, I'm going no money spent this year. If you guys aren't aware, I've talked about it a little bit. And I'm gonna go in and talk about what I think I'm, is the best way to go about things and, and what I'm gonna do personally. First and foremost, I would start with doing offline stuff first for the time being, if you're literally playing this like within a day or two of the game launch, because server is a little wonky. But if you're playing online, keep that in mind you can do whatever you want at that point but it won't really change much of, of what i think is important to do first of all go to your programs guys go to other programs get yourself an 85 rafael palmero uh all these packs and get yourself an 86 overall sandy alcantara he'll be great for your rotation and you get a bunch of packs along the way too which is fantastic then honestly i would hop into the i would tackle the spring breakout program but the moments specifically and then the showdown uh the missions you'll get passively Actually, no, you won't because some of these specific missions are with these cards. So I would do moments showdown after you farm enough to get some of these cards, use them for the missions, and then just get this done. This is going to be a great way to get the framework of your team solidified uh, as you move forward. And damn near every single one of these players fits the Buxton captain, which is uh, going into my next point here. If you haven't, if you have the cornerstone pack and you haven't opened it yet or taken anybody, I highly, highly recommend taking this Byron Buxton. Uh, he gives 15 power on both sides, 10 speed, 10 fielding ability to uh, if you have 11 hitters with under 60 vision on your squad early game. It's going to be a magnificent boost to have on your team. It's going to turn a lot of people into demons, especially in the lower ranks. So, yeah, first thing I would do is go knock out those programs. Um, they're, they're there for a reason, right? That the reason why they're there are because they're easier, easier to get done than most. And they're kind of like a layup, right? And for collections purposes, for XP purposes, for packs, it's just the way to do things. Ballin' is a habit. Packs are blue now, so blue ballin' is a habit. You know, I had to bring that joke from the stream. I had to do that. After that, uh, I would take a look at Team Affinity. And if you guys look at Team Affinity now, you can do all the things you want to do here. But I highly recommend looking at the fact that... Um, where is the uh, showdowns for this? If you go to showdowns... Okay. Team Affinity showdowns are repeatable guys you could farm showdowns this year again it's back if you want to just kind of keep a nice pace farm showdowns it's a little bit more mindless you get to try out some cards earn xp earn stubs that's one of the most important things that i think there are that, that there is in the game right now to do is to farm showdowns um after showdowns i'd probably look into storylines i haven't taken a too in-depth look at show uh, at uh, storylines i haven't looked too much into it um but if i back out real quick where's it at Oh, there's a Derek Jeter storyline, too, where you get a bunch of Yankee players. Hold on, I'm going to exit this stuff. I wanted to just see the rewards. Oh, oops. I made mistakes. I'm going to back out of this. There are rewards you can get. There was a screenshot of, of all the rewards you can get from storylines and from Derek Jeter storylines, like from the Negro Leagues and Derek Jeter's. There's a bunch of cards there. You can do that stuff. It's offline. It really helps build your team. But the bigger one to me is make sure you do the starter programs first. Get these two done right here. And then, honestly, if you really want to just be mindless, you could farm showdowns. Online equivalents. BR and events are going to be the wave. If we go to events real quick. Okay, Jesus, the tutorials are crazy. You guys can see this. I literally just got into the game. When does the event start? Is that not yet? I guess not. But BR is going to be the wave, especially now that it's 10 and 0. It's going to be where I'm going to be spending most of my time. It's only 10 and 0. 10 wins gets you an 87 plus live series player. You get packs along the way. And honestly, some of these golds aren't bad. Willie Castro is not terrible. Fits the Buxton team. Whoa, wait, actually, he becomes a demon on the Buxton team. He already has the contacts. He gets 15s to his power. He gets a fielding boost, and he gets speed boost, where he's 83 speed already. Interesting to look out for that. Uh, you get a Solaire, who also fits that. Joe Morgan, eh. And Wade Boggs, no. Uh, diamonds, some of the diamonds are solid. Tony Clark, switch hitter, nice addition to your team. Luis Gonzalez, um, righty killer. J.D. Davis, <laughs> Is an incredible bat and plays first and third and can obviously dh and lou gehrig who you know i got a soft spot for so there's that lou gehrig and then you get xp along the way it's gonna be one of the ways that people who are uh you know pretty good at the game can farm this get the program done get a 10 and 0 flawless get collections done that way but um that's what that's like the online equivalent to farming showdowns on repeat it's kind of like just kind of doing your br thing making sure you get that program done so that's the thing. I don't know why the event isn't here. When does that go live? Um, we don't know. We don't know that. Um, ranked. I wouldn't happen to rank so your squad's good, but it's really up to you guys. You can do it if you want. But for me personally, I'm going to be doing just 
a few things to start. Well, first of all, I don't know if you guys saw this. I already claimed it, but uh, wait, oops. You go to the store, you get a free pack. Just make sure you claim that. Um, I still wouldn't buy this jumpstart pack. That's just never really worth it. So just to reiterate, starter programs, and then if you want to play offline, mostly showdowns. You could even do the conquest. Okay. You could do the uh, Nation of Baseball conquest, which along the way... I understand how this works, man, please. You get packs, experience, stubs, and you get some, uh, you get 85 AJ Pollock, who's kind of cheeks. Mark Melanson, who's glitchy. Orlando Cepeda is not terrible. You get Troy Percival, who I like. His control's kind of bad. No slider. That's brutal. Um, 85 Carlos Rodon. Yeah, some of these cards are actually kind of buns. David Ortiz is, David Ortiz is good as a DH. Packs. It's really going to be for the packs and the XP. Bill Maz, not going to be terrible early on. 87 Jim Rice. He'll have a place in the game. This Sam Usual is going to hit a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, this is a little bit more of a casual experience if you enjoy Conquest, but it's more than just the cards you get. You get a lot of stubs and packs for this, too. But again, to me, attacking TA is going to be the way. You want to get as close as you can. Um, oh, over here, where is it? To these, that you want to get all the way up here. You want to get this Craig Biggio at 30 cards collected. You want to get this John Franco at 70. Obviously, you're not going to get the 280, but you want to start climbing towards this and building this up. And the best way to do that is attack TA. And not to mention, along the way, within TA, you're going to get some of the better cards, right? You can get packs, stuff like that. But if you keep going, you get the 89. It's just an example. 89 Cedric Mullins, you get Eucalyptus. Ooh, that card's actually looking really good. Gary Sanchez, who's incredible uh, with the power. Evan Longoria and Sean Green. So you have a bunch of great options. This is where you want to, like, kind of build your team. Like, the real, like the, the pillars of your team are going to be from TA, which is nice. It's a refreshing change of pace um to compare to last year's ta so that's pretty much it so far i don't think i have much else to add it's kind of just like <laughs> i mean it's it's pretty simple for me it's going to be offline until like the server stabilized tonight but when they go back on, when they're a little bit more uh stable i'm gonna do a lot of br and, and that's going to be kind of it i'm gonna build my team that way but i'm gonna utilize all the things that they're giving us here starting with these programs the starter ones again again we'll go through real quick starter programs uh after that I would do showdowns. If you want to do online, do BR. If you're really into the offline stuff, toss storylines and conquest in there. I would probably do storylines first, even with a little bit more of a focus on the um, the Jeter one, because you can, you can get some pretty good cards there too. So that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys have any questions, if you have any any comments, any things. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna keep adding to this. Right. This is just a very early pre preliminary look. I'm gonna post like a day two and a day three stuff. Like as I figure these things out. This is just like. We're all here together. This is the first day. This is what I think is the best thing to do. So let me know what you guys think. Catch you guys later. Peace.